So here we're going to take a look at DynamoDB Accelerator, also known as DAX, and it is a fully managed in-memory cache for DynamoDB that runs in a cluster. And it, its response times can be in single digit milliseconds. So DAX can reduce response times to microseconds. Uh, and that's really important for certain types of workloads, which we'll talk about uh, a little bit more in the next slide. So here's an illustration of generally what DAX is. So let's just talk through the points of how this thing works. So you have a DAX cluster, which consists of one or more nodes. So I have them called cache here. Each node runs its own instance of the DAX caching software. One of the nodes serves as the primary node for the cluster. Additional nodes, if present, serve as read replicas. Your app can access DAX by specifying the endpoint for the DAX cluster. So there uh, we can see the app and it's accessing via the endpoint. The DAX client software works with the cluster endpoint to perform intelligent load balancing and routing. So it just takes care of stuff. You just use the endpoint and it figures everything out. And incoming requests are evenly distributed across all the nodes in the cluster. So now that we kind of have a little bit of an overview of DAX, let's look at the use cases of when and when not to use DAX. So let's take a look at DAX use cases. And to best understand this, let's say what DAX is good for and what it's not good for. So apps that require the fastest possible response time for reads, that's real-time bidding, social gaming, and trading applications, this is where you're going to want to use DAX. Apps that read a small number of items more frequently than others. Apps that are read intensive, but are also cost sensitive. Please take note of read intensive. That's what DAX is usually for. Apps that require repeated reads against a large data set. Notice that we said reads again. And now onto uh, the not ideal side. Apps that require strongly consistent reads because uh, DAX is not strongly consistent, it is eventually consistent. Apps that do not require microsecond response time for reads or do not need to offload repeated read activity from underlying tables. Apps that are write intensive or that do not perform much activity. No synthesis on write. That is not what DAX is intensive for, it's for read. Apps that already are using a different caching solution with DynamoDB and are using their own client side logic for working with uh, that caching solution. So if you run into the cases on the right, what would you do for caching in DynamoDB? And that's where Elastic Cache would come into place because you can put Elastic Cache uh, in front of DynamoDB. Uh, so if you're dealing with write intensive stuff, then you can make advantage of Redis there. Uh, and so that would be the case there.